there, that, that was 60. Um, we had the traction control flecking on. It's not soaking wet, it's a bit damp. <laughs> guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new series all about the used car market now I'm here at Advantage Cars they're actually owned by a main dealership so buying a car here you get all of the benefits of a main dealer purchase the car I've got today this is a Mercedes-Benz on a 2013 plate. It's the rather legendary C63 AMG Estate. Now we're going to have a good look around the outside of the car. We're going to have a chat about the performance, the technology, and ultimately the fun facts are out on the road. So let's get going. Let's start talking about the performance. The reason you'd even consider getting an AMG car has to be about the performance. So we need to have a look under the bonnet and talk about a rather special engine. It's a bit sad though, because it's a last of a breed and we're never gonna see another engine quite like this one. Now it's badged as a C63, but the engine itself, it's not a 6.3. It's only a 6.2 V8. How am I kidding? 6.2 V8, it's a German muscle car. Now the reason it's called a 6.3 was a homage to the M100, which is a very famous race engine and the first one developed by Mercedes. It was used in the Spa 24 hour race back in 1971. 470 brake horsepower, 600 Newton meters of torque, 60 in around four and a half seconds but it's the mid-range it's the pull this thing will just keep on going like an absolute rocket ship now this is one thing you don't get in modern cars anymore the soundtrack of this is oh it is something very very special so i think we're going to have to go around the back and listen to this because it does sound absolutely incredible well the performance of this car is impressive but it's the soundtrack of this car which really does add it for me it adds so much drama so much excitement and unfortunately, cars today, they just don't sound this good. So I'm gonna give this a rating out of 10. It'd be great if you guys could join in. Give a rating either in the comments or I'll put a little card up there. I'm gonna to have to give this, I think, a nine out of 10. Very, very impressive. So let's have a look around the outside of the car. The thing about this C63 AMG, in terms of styling, it is very very subtle and unless you know what you're looking for you wouldn't really know the potential performance this car's got i think if you're a bit of a petrol head you'll look at it and you'll give a nod because you know exactly what this thing's capable of tires on this we've got two three five thirty nineteens on the front and slightly wider at the back two five five thirty nineteens We've got some subtle side skirts, we've got some aluminium trim running around. And it just looks, well, it just looks very smart. It's the perfect family car. And then when you want some fun, that 6.3 roars into life. Now we need to have a look around the back. From the back, this looks like any other C-Class. It looks like a smart estate. Opening the boot, we've got 475 litres with the seats up. And if you lower the seats down, we've got 1,500 litres. So it's a very, very practical, yet very, very fast car. 
The corn exhaust are really the only way you'd know that this is an AMG model. There are no other badges or styling cues here. But this is the view many people will be seeing, along with the thunderous noise that comes out the back of this thing. There's very few badges on this car to say this is something slightly different. We've got this one, the 6.3 AMG, flared wheel arches, and that is, that's about it from this angle. So from the front, this car looks like, well, any other C-class. I'm not saying that in a negative way. It looks very, very smart, but what's under the hood doesn't reflect the styling of the car. It's very, very subtle. If you want something that's understated, then this is the perfect car for you. For me, I possibly might wanted a bit more aggression in the car. So let's give this a mark out of 10 in terms of exterior styling. I'm gonna say a seven. It looks very smart and I would be very, very happy with this sitting in my driveway. Well, we've had a look around the outside. We've had a chat about the performance. We've heard that glorious V8 spring into life, but we need to have a look around the inside, talk about the comfort and the technology. Now, starting with the technology, one thing you will get when you buy an older car, you won't get the latest tech. But with this car, it's about the driving. That's what I care about, especially in an AMG model. And these seats are incredible. They're possibly some of the most comfortable seats of any car I've driven. There's huge side bolsters on these things, which when you're progressing on, they will certainly hold you in place. They're also heated. We've got memory control on them as well, which is perfect. The other area of driving, steering wheel, lovely AMG steering wheel, not too thick, flat bottom, very, very nice. We've got analog dials. I really, really like analog dials. Maybe I'm a bit old fashioned like that, but I think it's it's timeless almost. Um, I think these will always look good. So we've got the speedo right in the middle. That dial goes up very, very quickly. To the left, we've got the fuel gauge, which goes down very, very quickly. And the rev counter over on the right. Now this is where the car does get a bit more dated, the infotainment system. It's sort of an infotainment system. I do need to start the car up. Oh, I love this bit. So we're going to... Oh, the inner child comes out of me there. Right, so the infotainment system, we've got, I don't know how big that is, not very big, probably a 10 inch screen maybe, um, with the basics on there so you can control the radio. We have actually got nav on here, a uh, disc. I think it might even take DVDs. Yes, that's taking me back a few years. Going under there as well, so you've got this button, which you have to be quite brave, especially in the wet, to turn that off traction control you can turn that either completely off or have it in a halfway house this car is renowned for being tail happy so be very very careful of that button climate control underneath that we've then got the controls for the seven speed box different driving modes that's about that really is about it there is not a huge amount to go through there are not loads of settings. You can't change your dampers or braking bias. None of that's going on. This C63, you get in, you do your seatbelt up, and you give it the beans, and that is it. That really is. 
So what we want to do now, I'm going to hop in the back, we'll see what the rear passengers uh, have in store for them. Hopping into the back of this C-Class, I left the driver's seat where I was driving it, uh, I'm six foot, and my legs just about fit behind the driver's seat. There is a slight concaved area in the back of the seat for my knees to go, so it's not too bad. Um, I can't really fit my feet under the driver's seat though. So if you're more than six foot, I wouldn't really want to do a longer journey in this, but the seats are very comfortable. We've got a pull down armrest with cup holders. So definitely somewhere to put your drinks. Very comfortable seats, plenty of headroom, airbags, and that's all really I can say about the back of this car. Um, yeah, it's just not a bad place to be. So overall, the tech, the interior, the comforts, I would say out of 10, I'm going to give this probably a, probably a 6. Possibly a seven. We'll go six and a half. Uh, rear passenger room isn't too bad, especially if you've got a, a family. I think it would be perfect. I love the driving seat, uh, the, the dials I really like, but the infotainment system, that side of it, is feeling pretty dated. So we've talked about pretty much everything. We've done styling, performance, inside tech so we need to take this out on the road and see how all of this comes together in what is supposed to be a bit of a brute out on the road first time i've been out in a mercedes especially an amg so i'm looking forward to this I'm not gonna give it too much just yet uh, <laughs> yeah, that noise is what an AMG is all about. That was brutal. But the wonderful thing is, it's very analog feeling. This car, there are no fancy settings on here like many of the newer cars. You can't change the steering weight, you can change the throttle response, can't do that either just the ferocity of the gear changes but they are very very good I mean it's only like a hundred milliseconds <laughs> oh, it makes some very naughty noises this car it's got bangs going on here bit wet and greasy so I'm not turning the traction control down off on this I'm uh, not skilled enough or man enough to want to do that but <laughs> that yeah yeah that that was 60 very quickly there Jeez, that's quick. That... <laughs> this could get you in so much trouble.
but oh it is fantastic not only does it look pretty good it's understated but that engine is amazing it handles well it drives so well and value for money as well i mean this is up for 24 basically 25 grand six months warranty you're not going to get a lot else for your money if you want bang for your buck this car is fantastic well i definitely think if i was after a high performance estate car this would definitely be on the top of my list it is fantastic it is so enjoyable the ride is a little bit firm there are some slight creaks but not that many but considering how old the car is as well it's it's just brilliant it really really is and i've thoroughly enjoyed the the time i've had with the car it's it's been brilliant so yeah definitely come down i'll put all the contact details about where you can come and test drive the car just go down there there's so many cars they've got and this is just one of them i should be bringing you a a lot more videos on a range of used cars so hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up comments are always welcome and remember to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching